Hello YouTube, my name is Crum or Glenn for the win. And in today's YouTube video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use the proxy scraper that we made in the last video so that we can make requests to a certain site using those proxies instead of our IP address. So with that, let's go ahead and get into this video. The first thing that you're going to want to do is make the new text file and we're going to call this view.py. Just like that. And then we can go ahead and edit this. like so. Now the first thing that you always always want to do is import the necessary modules and for this script we're only going to be using four. That's requests for making the HTTP requests, random for generating random numbers, time for handling time related tasks, and colorama for just coloring the output. So let's go ahead and import these. Just like that and now that we got our modules uh, imported we just need to go ahead and initialize colorama so that we can automatically reset the color settings after each print statement so we'll simply type init and then in here we'll type auto reset equals true and that handles that now we can go ahead and get to the actual script the first thing that we're going to be doing is loading uh, loading proxies from a file so we'll do define load proxies and then here we're going to type file underscore path equals and then right here we're going to type proxies.txt where proxies.txt is where the list of our proxies are going to be at and i made a python script that's going to scrape all those proxies and put them in there so i'll show you that after this and there'll be a video on that that you can watch in the description so the first thing that you do in this function is we're going to make a command that'll open the file in read mode so we're going to do with open and then in here we're going to type file underscore path and then we're going to type in quotations r and outside of this we'll type as file this is going to read the file in file mode or in read mode Ugh. next we need to read all the lines from the file and split them into a list so we'll do proxies equals file dot read and then we're going to type dot split lines just like that and now that we've got that out of the way we can go on ahead and tab out of this right here and we can type return proxies just like so and that function is done now we can go on ahead and move on to the next thing which is a function that we're actually going to be using to view a video or or go to a certain link or whatever you're trying to send the request of the proxy to in this case it's going to be a youtube video more specifically the youtube video that i made for the proxy scraper. So we're gonna go on ahead and do define view video with proxy. And then in here we can type video underscore URL proxy and duration. And then leave a semicolon outside of this. Next, we need to set up the headers for the HTTP requests. This is important because it's going to tell your user agent and your referrer which is like the, the link that you're going to and your system uh, settings and what uh, browser you're using. So for this, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna copy this into here, but we're gonna type headers equals and then that, and then we're going to come down a line and put that in. And then right here, we're going to type uh, user agent, user agent. And then here we'll type referrer just like that and then we need to tab these guys once more just like that now that we've got that away i'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this information that i have for the user agent because it's a long line but once you see it you'll understand what it is just like that next we're going to put in our referrer and for our referrer, we're just going to youtube.com. So we'll type www.youtube.com. And we actually need to include HTTPS in this. Just like that. Now that we got that out of the way, we need to determine the type of proxy based on its prefix for what we're going to be using. Because proxies.txt is going to hold multiple different kinds of proxies from multiple different proxies lists. Like you have an uh, HTTP 
HTTPS, SOX5, and SOX4 proxy bases. Now I'm not going to explain what each of them are and their differences. We're just going to go ahead and import them. So we're going to type proxy underscore type equals none with a capital N. And then here we're going to type if proxy dot starts with, and then in here we're going to type our first uh, proxy URL, which is going to be HTTP semicolon slash slash, just like that. And now we can type proxy underscore type equals, and then in here we're going to type HTTP. Now we can do an elif statement for proxy dot starts with, and in here we're going to put HTTPS. Just like this, make sure you put it in quotations, just like that. And now we can type proxy underscore type equals HTTP. Now we can go ahead and copy this line, go down and paste. And then right here, we can change this to uh, SOX5 and change this to SOX5. And then go down another line and change this to SOX4 and change this to SOX4. Now that's out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and create a dictionary for the proxy configuration. So we'll type proxy underscore DICT for dictionary. And then we're gonna type equals. And then in here we'll type proxy underscore type and then type proxy. And then if proxy underscore type else, and then do this again. And in here we're going to type HTTP proxy and then we're going to type https and then type proxy again just like that now we're going to go ahead and start a try statement to record the start time of the request so we're going to do try and then in here we'll type uh, start underscore time equals time dot time now we need to make the get request to the video URL using the specified proxy from the proxy list. So we'll do, we're gonna call back to the proxy dictionary to do this. So we'll do response equals requests.get and then in here type video URL headers equals headers and proxies equals proxy dict and then timeout equals 10. Just like that. And then we're going to type response dot raise or status just like that that's going to raise an exception for if the request returned an unsuccessful status code now we need to print the success message with details about the request so we're going to do four print statements here we're just going to go in and type four just like that and then do this and we're going to use color for all these more specifically we're going to use green so we're going to copy this and put this on each line just like that that's weird just like that now we can go ahead and press space plus space plus space plus and space plus and here we will include our text message for what we want it to say so for this first one we're going to do viewed video with proxy and then in here we're going to type proxy like that go to this next line and type proxy type and then in here we'll type proxy underscore type dot upper just like that and now we need to type uh, the status code so we'll do f status code or response dot status code and last but not least we're going to type f elapsed time and then we're going to type elapsed underscore time semicolon dot two F 
and then put seconds dash n just like that the next thing that we're going to want to do is pause the execution for the specified duration so we're going to type time dot sleep and then here we're just going to type duration all right and now we need to handle any request exceptions so outside of this try statement we're going to type accept requests dot request exception as e and now we need to print error message with details about the request failure for this we're going to put three print statements just like that and in here we're going to put four dot red just like this and then on this first one we're going to type failed to view video with proxy and then here we'll type proxy and then on this line we're going to type f proxy type proxy underscore type dot upper and then out here we'll type if proxy underscore type else and then we'll type unknown just like that and now for this last line we're going to do f error and then we're going to put our error message and end it with a dash n to clear the line just like that so now that this function is done we can move on to the main function which uh, will be to drive the actual script so we're going to do uh, define main and then in here we're going to type video url equals and then in here i'm going to type the video url for the proxy scraper video that i made that i have saved over here just like that and now we need to load the list of proxies from the file so here we're going to type proxies equals load proxies and then we need to randomly uh, set the duration for viewing the video and we could set this between any kind of random using random um, anywhere between here I'll do 1 to 60 for the session duration or no probably better to do 5 to 60 that way we don't have any connections that close or get confused so here we're going to type 5 and then to 60 or 5 is the lowest amount of settings that it seconds that it can take for each proxy to stay connected or 60 seconds so for example let's say it chooses five seconds then every five seconds the proxy will reset to a different proxy now that we got that out of the way we can uh print a message to indicate the start of the viewing process so type print and in this we're actually going to do yellow and we can take this further by uh, making it a bright yellow by typing plus style dot bright and then we're going to press plus again and actually type our content right here so we're going to type starting to view the video using proxies for and then in here we're going to type session underscore duration seconds each and then we're going to type dash in to clear the line and now we need to iterate over the list of proxies from proxies.txt so we'll do four underscore in range and then we're going to type len and then in here again we'll type proxies and then end it with a semicolon now we need to randomly select a proxy from that list so we'll do proxy equals random dot choice and then proxies and now we need to view the video using the selected proxy so we'll do view uh, video with proxy and then in here we're going to type video URL um, proxy and session duration just like that and now we need to print another, me another message to indicate uh, the end of viewing the process so we're going to go out of this for statement and we're going to type print 
record and then in here we're going to type cyan plus style dot bright and we're going to type plus f and then clear the line and type finished viewing the video with all proxies for session duration seconds each just like that and now we need to, in to include the entry point of the script which is basically just if underscore underscore name equals main just like that and then we call the main function to start the script main just like that all right with that guys this script is done so let's go on ahead and give this guy a run all right guys now that we're on our desktop we can go ahead and type windows r and put in cmd then we can type cd desktop just like that now we're on our desktop directory where view.py is and we can type python view.py and here nothing should happen because proxies.txt doesn't exist so we'll go ahead and go into that script um look for it in here right here and i'm just going to copy this and bring it to the desktop so that we can go ahead and run python proxy scraper.py and you'll see i made a little bit of visual improvements to this script um not necessary but as you can see it's fetching these proxies from the site multiple different sites i should say now that we have the proxies we can go ahead and type python view.py and it should go through the list of proxies.txt that was made on our desktop right here it should go through this list of proxies and use all of these to uh, scan for uh, make requests to the site that we gave so we'll type python view.py and then here it goes starting to view the video using proxies for five seconds each and as you can see it's having a little bit of issues but it is working so if you guys like this video please leave a like and subscribe if you did um leave a comment as well tell me what i can do to improve my channel and um i'm just going to explain why these why these uh, errors are happening it's because not every proxy that's given in a proxy list is going to be alive that's just to be expected but it is working and it'll continue to work until you stop the script or until it finishes going through all the proxies so with that i hope you guys enjoyed this video leave a like and subscribe and a comment and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out